Turning to more of today's top stories in your morning rush, hundreds of vaccines are up for grabs in Charlotte today. The Mecklenburg County Health Department says it will open more appointments at the Bojangles Coliseum Clinic and starting at 7 o'clock this morning. There are also several walk-in clinics today. No appointment required, which is very exciting. Like Billy Jean had mentioned, Atrium will be vaccinating people at Bank of America Stadium and StarMed will have vaccinations available at the Sheraton Hotel near the airport and also at their Tuckasee Road location. We've got all the details for you that you need inside the WCNC app. CMS says it will hold in-person graduations this year. The school board deciding each graduate will be allowed two guests and the ceremonies also will be live streamed so others can watch at home. The school board also announcing a new name for Behringer Academic Center starting next school year. It will now be called the Charles H. Parker Academic Center after an activist who revamped the West Boulevard community in the 1900s. Well, the officer who shot and killed 20-year-old Dante Wright in Minnesota has stepped down. Former officer Kim Potter and the town's police chief both submitting resignation letters yesterday. Prosecutors say they could decide whether to file criminal charges against Potter as soon as today. Good Wednesday morning. I'm Richard Devane here at West End Baptist Church, where today the family and friends of Dr. Rock. Today, former governor and former Charlotte Mayor Pat McCrory expected to announce he's running for the U.S. Senate in 2022. It's according to our sister station in Raleigh. This comes after Senator Richard Burr previously announced that he will not be running for re-election. And that's it for your Morning Rush.